Good morning, Card Beanies. RJ, back with another video. Let's get to it. Today's random Mike Schmidt item of the day. And the two 1981 Fleer stickers inserts. They produce, Fleer produce stickers as their uh, bubblegum insert as opposed to bubblegum. And um, they had a bunch of different styles. Uh, Mike Schmidt had the checklist card as well as card number nine in the set. And, you know, different poses. And Flair had a lot of variations, just like Donruss did a lot of variations and errors in the early years. Uh, but these two star stickers are Mike Schmidt from the first year. Today I want to show off my random baseball item of the day. My random baseball item of the day is, I mentioned this the other day. I showed off that, pro that um, item from Mike Schmidt. I showed off a, a, his 1987. I'm looking for it here to see if I have it lying around somewhere still. Maybe I didn't put it away. But his 1987 Gallery of Stars card. There it is. Okay. It was this little aluminum card from 1987. Gallery of uh, Stars. Gallery of Champions, excuse me. They had aluminum versions, bronze and silver, sterling silver versions as well. So this is the aluminum version, still in this little sleeve that would have come to you in if you bought the whole set, I guess. Don't know for certain, but that's what I have. Well, I went on looking for some of those sets because I know I didn't know they had aluminum. I saw the bronze and the silver, and they could be a little pricey, but the aluminum ones... Apparently, somebody out there must have just found a stash of these because I found on the bay hundreds of people selling this set. The 1988 Gallery of Champions set, the aluminum one. And I picked that sucker up for six bucks. <laughs> six dollars. And this is what you got. A little briefcase kind of looking thing. And if you open up these little felt pockets... It held your aluminum cards, and there's 12 of them. This guy here is Steve Bedrosian, the uh, Cy Young Award winner from uh, 87. Dave Rigetti from the Yankees. Uh, who is this? Mark Langston, a Mariners pitcher. Andre Dawson of the Cubs. Jack Clark of the Cardinals. Wade Boggs. Tony Gwynn. George Bell of the Blue Jays. He won the MVP, I believe, in 87. Might have been 86. Here's your Mark McGuire Gold Cup card from 88. Roger Clemens. Nolan Ryan. And lastly, B Benny Santiago. Not even Benito, but Benny. And if you, if you take them out on the back, it's, it's, you know, it's an exact replica of their card from 88. But done in like a solid piece of aluminum. So, for six bucks, I figured I'd get, take a stab at that. I can't find any of the other ones from uh, the aluminum castings, any of the other years. But again, if you go on to the bay right now, there are hundreds of them for sale. The 1988 version. Somebody must have just found like a stash of them in a, in a warehouse or something. So, there you have it. That's what I wanted to show off today. Um... Trivia question today, again, we're sticking with Ohio because um, when I was out at Ohio last weekend, I stopped at three different card stores and made a purchase at each one. The, um, stopped the John, well, it wasn't Ohio, John Jabs' store that passed the live wasn't in Ohio, that was in Pennsylvania. Uh, but then I went to Ohio and two stores in Niles I stopped at. One was, I don't remember the name of it, but I put it in the description uh, for the Wednesday video, if you want to flip back to that one. The second one was more of a storefront for a, a breaker group than anything, because they didn't have a lot of stuff in their storefront, but they were there. And um, it was a place called um, End Zone Sports Cards, a memorabilia LLC. Here's their card, if you want to jump on their channel. See, here's the address of the sports card itself. They got a large Facebook group, I was told, uh, where they do most of their breaking. So uh, you're welcome to track them down and join some of their breaks. I uh, don't recall if I have joined any of their breaks yet, uh, but you're welcome to that. So before I show off what I got, let's do the trivia question. Today's prize, pretty cool one. Uh, early Roy Halliday, a Bowman rookie. This is a pre 
rookie card. He has an earlier version. There's a 1997 Roy Halladay. Uh, this is a 19, I should say a 1990, would it be 1997? No, I guess it would be the uh, 1998 Roy Halladay. This is the 1999 Bowman Roy Halladay. All right. That's your prize today. Pre-rookie card of Hall of Famer Roy Halladay. If you can tell me this, sticking with the uh, since or the whole Ohio team, we did Pete Rose of the Reds yesterday. Um, or should I should say yes, I should say Wednesday. And when I was going through the cards on Wednesday, remember I broke a box of uh, Topps Archives. If you want to check it out, 2017 Topps Archives. I pulled a Larry Doby card. I want you to tell me, for Larry Doby, who played with the Indians, since we're going to stick with Ohio, how many total games did Hall of Famer Larry Doby play for the Indians? All right, how many total games did he play for the Indians? Uh, email me the correct answer. I'll include my email in the description below, along for repeating the question. You've got today and tomorrow to answer, and we'll pick a winner on Sunday, and you could win that great Roy Halliday prize, okay? So here's what I got from the guys over at the end zone. Uh, I won't tell you how much I spent for it. I'm not telling the wife, so don't you tell her. But I pulled out and went up scale on a 2022 Topps Museum Collection box. It's a four hit master box. Each of these, there are four master boxes. What did I see it on the thing? Okay, here you go. There are four mini boxes per master box and five cards per mini box. So in here are 20 total cards. There are at least, uh, each mini box contains one of these, an on-card autograph, an autograph relic, a quad relic, or just a basic relic. So this is what I can find in each mini box. And there are four mini boxes. So I haven't even opened, haven't even broken the seal so I can do that with you guys here right now. All right. We'll see what we get. I have opened a high-end product like this before. It's been a while. Uh, I do not do it often. I think it was, I think I did one two years ago. Uh, no, I guess it was, no, uh, don't quote me. I think it was two years ago, yeah. So there we go. So here is the, the product. There are your four mini boxes. All right, pull those out. Here's your box. Tops Museum Collection. Big stuff, big stuff, people. Here's mini box number one. And again, there's always something big in it. An autograph, an autographed relic, a quad relic, or just a relic. So uh, the hard part is when you just, you know, when your autograph is some no-name rookie pitcher who never does anything, or you're, when you're, um, the hard part to me when you're, Autograph for your relic is some no no name scrub or some hot prospect who just doesn't develop at all. So you never know what you're going to get. So you pull out and you have this here. All right, I, I like to save these boxes because I can use these boxes to store mini sets that I accumulate. Some of the insert sets that I get. All right, so we're gonna pull this out. We're not going to look. We get a header card. I will take this guy right here. My shy park. I'm not looking. I'm going to do it down here so you guys can't see either. And I'm not looking. I'm just taking the top off, putting the header on so you can't see nothing. And here we go. So, first card. All right. Uh, we have... Ooh, nice Wander Franco. There you go. If you are a Wander Franco aficionado, that's my first museum collection card this year. I'm going to stuck to something. Wander Franco. Here's what the cards look like. 
Juan de Franco, very nice. Museum collection, Juan de Franco, rookie. I like that. I like that a lot. Card number two. Up, 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 up. I'm not doing this well. Nice Johnny Bench. I don't think this is a parallel colored parallel or anything, but it's a nice Johnny Bench. I'm not sure because, you know, the Wander's kind of like got a blue color and the Bench has got a kind of red, but I know sometimes they just change the color scheme up based upon the team, so we'll stick with that. In the back, you got your Reese Hoskins. All right. And the other card in the back. That's a thick one. Well, let's go with the middle guy and keep the thick one for later. The Ichiro sketch card, which is nice. All right. The Ichiro sketch card. And then lastly, our relic or auto or whatever we have. Let's see what we got. It looks like a quad relic. Oh, oh, is it an auto relic too? No, it's a really nice. Oh, wow. A Whit Merrifield. One of one. Quad relic. Look at that. That is the first one of one pull I've ever had. I've never pulled a one of one before. I have a couple one of ones in my hand and in my collection. But this is the first time I've ever pulled a Whit Merrifield one of one with a very nice uh, patch. So we're going to set that guy aside back here with Roy. That is pretty darn cool, guys. I don't like to get too crazy about it. Plus, I'm doing this at like, you know, 10 o'clock at night and everybody's walking around the bedroom, my, my baseball room outside, and I don't want to go crazy and draw their attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> I still got to clean this up. We got guests coming tomorrow, believe it or not. And my baseball room is like a spare room. So I got to do this video and then clean up the whole place. So pray for me, guys. All right, same thing here. I'm opening up off, off screen here. And I'm not looking. It's hard for me to do this and not look because then I got to put the header thing over top of it so I don't see what I got and I can look through it with you guys. But that is a very nice pull. One of one quad auto. Whit Merrifield's not the biggest name, but you know, at least I know him. <laughs> Somebody out there might want a nice Whit Merrifield card. Spencer Torkelson. It's a nice little rookie card. Base card there. Uh, Hunter Green from the Reds. Nice Tony Gwynn. So you got a Tony Gwynn and a uh, uh, Johnny Bench. A nice Freddie Freeman on the Dodgers. All right, now here's our hit. Let's see what we got. Looks like another quad relic. This one's not green, so I imagine it's not a one of one. Ryan Mountcastle, 33 of 75. I don't think any of these cards were numbered at all. I'm going to do that real quick, just kind of like scan to see if there's a number in them. Even the museum, even the uh, sketch card is not numbered. So just kind of flipping through real quick. We got the Ichiro sketch card, and we got the one of one. Now we got another quad relic of Ryan Mountcastle. Put that over here. These will be good trade baits for me. I do not care about Ryan Mountcastle in the least. But somebody else out there probably does and would like to have that card. So we'll see what we can get for it in the grand scheme of things. I mean, somebody out there wants that Whit Merrifield one of one, too, you know. I was listening to, um, who was it? Uh, I was listening to Chris Sewell, uh, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. And he was saying um, that they were talking about the price of one of ones and whether or not they were good investments. And his point was like, well, one of ones sound really good, but they're making so many one of ones. I mean, there's so many card companies out there making one of ones, even though each one's unique. Unless you're a collector of that person, they're going to begin holding no value because there are so many different one of ones that unless you're the guy who collects that, it's, oh, that's that one of one. Oh, that's, it, it, there's almost like no interest. It's an interesting thought. 
So here we are, pack number three. There's only only four packs. Uh, Louis Robert, Lou Bob. Whatever happened to Lou Bob? Remember how he was so hot a couple years ago? I don't think even cares about Lou Bob anymore. Nice trout. Somebody wants a trout out there, right? Fishing for trout. Vladdy Daddy, that's kind of cool. Uh, I think I got it auto because this one doesn't feel like a relic. Here's a nice Francisco Lindor out of 50. So this is a, a base parallel out of 50. It's not an auto. This is our hit out of this one. All right. This looks like a meaning for memorabilia, like a Mickey Moniac or a Bryson Stott card. Mickey Moniac out of 50, a relic. Okay. <coughs> so we got two quad relics and then a base relic, a standard relic. <coughs> Excuse me, no autos yet. No autos yet at all. So I want to make sure, I want to see if our last card can be a relic. Nah, put them there. I'm not a relic. Let me see. Let's see if we can get an auto on our last card. Uh, somebody big. It's kind of cool to get a, a, a Philly there, you know. Even though it's just like Mickey Moniac and it's not Bryce Harper or a JT Real Muto or somebody. But hey, it's still a Philly. I have a, I think I have a Mickey Moniac auto somewhere on my shelf, but again, it's, it's not like it's a big deal to me. Mickey Moniac, I think he's back down at the minors. He's not been the star we had one time hoped for. So, okay, last pack mojo. Let's see what we get. So, starting with the base cards, we have nice George Brett, a couple of good Hall of Famers, which is sweet. Uh, Ronald Acuna Jr., always nice. There is your Max Scherzer on the Mets. Uh, Vato. This one doesn't feel like, oh, it's a relic. Yeah, I can see the relic right there. Let's see if it's an auto relic. It is Vladdy Jr., there you go. Somebody out there is a big fan of Vladdy Jr. and would probably like to have this of 50. So these two are from the same subset, both called Meaningful Materials. They're both out of 50. So we did not get an auto, but like I said, this is pretty darn cool. My very first ever pull of a one-of-one one card. Very nice. It's a very pretty patch, too. I don't know about you guys, but it's very nice. So, I um, hope you appreciated that. I will say, if there's anything in this video anybody out there is interested in acquiring, let me know. See if we can't work a deal of some sort. Let me show you again what we got. We got the Whitmerfield Quad Relic, one of one. Very sweet. Ryan Mountcastle, Quad Relic of 75. And two cards from the Meaningful Materials set out of 50. Um, Mickey Moniak and Vladdy Jr. We actually got a Vladdy Daddy base card in here. So we got Vato, base. Max Scherzer, base. Ronald Acuna, base. Um, George Brett, base. Francisco Lindor out of 50. Put him in the back there. There's your Vladdy Daddy. Mike Trout. Lou Bob. Ichiro Sketch Card. Put him in the back. Freddie Freeman. Tony Gwynn. Hunter Green. Rookie. Spencer Torkelson. Rookie. Reese Hoskins. And then Johnny Bench. And of course, a Juan, nice Wander Franco rookie. The first card we pulled out. So, several really cool cards. I hope you guys all enjoyed them. I certainly enjoyed ripping it. Um, would have liked to have seen an auto, but you know, you can't be choosers and you're, you're doing a high end product. You're just taking your, you're taking a stab at things. So I don't think I got my money's worth. I'll tell you that. It's nice to have this one of one, but I don't think it's worth the price of the box. So, uh, sad to say that. Anyway, Appreciate y'all stopping by for this one. Please consider like, subscribing, commenting, all that jazz. Uh, check back on Sunday for the trivia recap. Take care.